Although some signs of a man's romantic interest are obvious, there are others that are much more subtle. From his head to his toes, here are 16 body language signals he's attracted to you. Number 16. Smile. This is one of the more obvious body language signals that a guy is into you. If you see him look at you and frown, well, that's never good. However, if he flashes you a big bright smile, you're in luck. This means that he probably finds you attractive. You'll be able to tell whether or not his grin is forced. One way is to look in his eyes. If they're creased upward along with the corners of his mouth, it's definitely a genuine smile. But if his teeth are showing and his eyes are glaring, you might want to shuffle away quickly. Either he's not into you or he's getting ready to attack, and you shouldn't stick around to find out. Number 15, walks with you. This sign will most likely occur after you've already met your crush, you two have a conversation, or you've been friends for a while. Whatever the case, it's a signal you'll want to pay attention to. When you are walking together, does he tend to stay in front of you, behind you, or by your side? If he's in front of you, he might care more about himself than he does about you. And nobody wants an egotistical brute. If he's behind you, there's a chance he's interested in you. Or if you don't know him, he might be stalking you. But if he is walking next to you and maintaining the same pace as you are, it's a surefire sign that he's attracted to you. He cares enough to slow down and stay by your side. So he probably wants to be close to you and maybe initiate a conversation. Number 14, tiptoe. Although a man's feet are probably not the first thing you notice when you're talking to him, you should probably start looking down because they can be a sign of his attraction, or lack thereof. If he points his toes your way, it's a signal that he likes you. If you look at a guy's feet before he begins talking to you, they can even be foreshadowing of his intentions. Is he busy conversing with somebody else? Maybe he's looking at them. But are his feet facing you? If so, this could mean that he plans on leaving that conversation and approaching you next. This is also a great way to tell if he is not interested. If he's talking to you but his toes are pointed to the side and he's not giving you his full attention, he's probably getting ready to take off. So glance at his toes every once in a while to see if they're facing toward you. Number 13, pupils. This is a body language signal that can be backed up by pure science. There was an experiment done in 1965 to test the response of individuals' pupils when shown revealing photographs of people they found attractive. When a heterosexual man was shown pictures of a naked woman, his eyes dilated. This suggests that the pupils react according to whether or not someone finds who they're looking at attractive. The research demonstrated that the pupils dilate when seeing somebody attractive and that people find others with dilated pupils more visually appealing as well. So not only can you tell he's attracted to you if his pupils look huge, but you'll look more pleasing to him if he thinks you're cute. It's a win-win situation for both parties involved. Number 12, eye contact. Another way to tell if a guy is attracted to you is by where he's looking. It's normal for a man to look up and down to check you out, which is a sign that he's attracted to you. But another place he should be looking is directly into your eyes. If he makes eye contact with you, it's a strong signal that he thinks you're good looking. If the two of you are having a pleasant conversation and he keeps eye contact throughout it, then he's into you. You can also tell if he thinks you're attractive if he catches your eye from across the room. Let's say you are on separate sides of a club. You lock eyes and he continues gazing at you. This means that he's probably getting ready to come and say hi. However, if a guy is looking everywhere but at you, then it's safe to say he's not interested. Number 11, begins talking. Another way to tell if a man finds you attractive is if he places himself in your vicinity. This is probably to be close to you and begin a conversation. If he starts talking to you or tries to initiate a discussion, it means that he's attracted to you. He wants to get to know you better and be close to you physically. If he's shy, he might not introduce himself first. So it's more important to note that he has intentionally put himself next to you, most likely with the intention of catching your eye and sparking your interest. Don't be afraid to introduce yourself in a situation like this, if the attraction is mutual anyway. Number 10, legs apart. This one might seem a little strange and suggestive. To be honest, it is a little suggestive, but a man usually isn't doing this deliberately. Another signal to pay attention to concerns how a guy is sitting. If he is sitting with his legs crossed, he's probably not attracted to you. If he's sitting with his legs open, it's a strong signal of his attraction for you. First of all, it means he is making himself vulnerable. If his legs are open, he isn't concerned about protecting his sensitive areas for you, and he's letting you know that he trusts you. Secondly, this posture is implicative of his feelings. If he sits with his legs spread, it not only implies his physical interest in you, but also means he wants to know you on an emotional level. However, if things are getting a little too risque, go ahead and let him know. Number nine, happy. One more signal to keep an eye out for is if a man's overall attitude when you step into the room. Does he smile? Does his eyes light up? Is he genuinely happy to see you? This is one of the biggest telltale signs that a guy is attracted to you. It should be easy to tell whether or not he's delighted you're there. He'll be upbeat and positive if he is. However, if he's grimacing, frowning, and looking the other way, you should probably move on to the next one because he's not interested. 
Of course, there's always the chance that he's nervous and uncomfortable showing his enthusiasm, or he's trying to play it cool. If that's the case, then pay even closer attention to the other signals mentioned in this countdown. Number eight, hands on hips. Even though a man might do this at other times as well, it's still a strong sign that he's into you. If he's facing toward you with his hands on his hips, he probably finds you attractive. Just like when he sits with his legs apart, this posture leaves him vulnerable. The torso contains a lot of sensitive areas that human nature drives us to protect. So he is placing his trust in you if he's leaving them open. But if he has his arms crossed, then he has placed a barrier between you. Whether or not it was intentional, it's a sign that he isn't interested in getting to know you better. Having his arms at his sides also makes him appear more approachable and draws you in. So if he's doing the opposite, then you might want to stay away. Number seven, leaning toward you. Another sign you want to give your attention to is a man's posture while the two of you are talking. Does he lean in closer to you every chance he gets? Maybe he's a bit closer to you than anyone else would be in the same situation. If you notice that he is leaning his body toward you, it's a big signal he finds you attractive. This is an attempt to get to know you on a more personal level mentally and physically. Leaning closer to you allows him to give you more of his attention, and he gets to see you in more detail as well, which you'd only want to do if he finds you physically appealing. However, if you notice him leaning away from you or facing the other direction, then it means he's not into you, or you're in serious need of a breath mint. Number six, restless. An additional signal to look out for is if a guy is acting restless or can't stop fidgeting. Women do this all the time too around guys they find attractive. They'll often play with their hair or their glass. Although a guy won't usually twirl his hair around his finger, he will fidget in other ways. His restlessness will be visible. He might start tapping his fingers, moving his leg up and down, touching his neck or face, or swirling his drink around. Whatever the case, this means that he's probably nervous around you, which generally speaking means he's interested. Although in some cases, nervousness can mean the opposite. You should be able to tell the difference. If he appears impatient, he might not be into you. But making these cute gestures is a glaring sign that he thinks you're attractive. Number five, raising eyebrows. This body language signal is very subtle, but if you're looking out for it, you'll start to notice when a guy is attracted to you by how he moves his eyebrows. Although too much eyebrow movement can result in a creepy vibe, the right amount will let you know whether or not he's interested in you. You'll want to look for raised eyebrows. If a man lifts his eyebrows when he glances at you, it's a positive sign. This can apply to one or both eyebrows. However, if he pulls his eyebrows down into a stern glare, then you might want to get out of Dodge because he's probably not interested. Plus, doing this means he probably doesn't want you to approach him, whereas lifted eyebrows make him appear friendlier and ready for conversation. Number four, watching you. If you notice a guy paying close attention to you while watching you from across the room, then it means he's attracted to you. If he's watching you from the shadows, however, he might be a stalker. So it's important to know the difference. If you're at a club or a bar and see a handsome man consistently looking at you throughout the night, there's a good chance that he's interested in getting to know you, and he might even approach you later on. But don't be afraid to make the first move. This signal also applies to a guy you've already been talking to. When you get up and do something, does he keep his eyes pointed in your direction? He won't want to look away from you if he finds you attractive. If you turn around quickly while walking away, you might even catch him in the midst of a longing gaze. Number three, gentlemen. Another simple way to tell if a guy likes you is by paying attention to his small gestures. If he is chivalrous and acts as if you're a princess, he most likely finds you attractive. This can show itself in several different forms. He might open doors for you, hold your coat, or take your hand to lead you through a crowd. No matter which of these things he does, it's a sure sign that he's interested. However, if he closes doors in your face or displays no signs of dotting on you, it most likely means that he's just not that into you. Number two, protective. Another signal to look out for is if a guy appears protective of you. This sign can also come across in several different situations. If you're talking to another man and he makes it a point to butt into your conversation, then he's probably attracted to you. He doesn't want you to flirt with someone else. Even though this can be annoying if you're not attracted to him, it's a positive sign of his affection. This also applies to coming to your defense. If he notices that someone is being rude to you or continues talking to you after you've turned them away and he comes to your side to back you up, then he probably finds you really attractive and wants to be there for you. He might even keep you company for the remainder of the night. Number one, touching. This is perhaps the most recognizable sign that he's attracted to you. If he finds you physically appealing and is interested in pursuing a romantic relationship, he will make every attempt he can to touch you. This doesn't mean inappropriately, but he might graze your arm, touch your leg, or even try to hold your hand. It means that he wants to be close to you physically and emotionally. Plus, he'll be able to tell if you like him back by your reaction. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.